What is up, what's up? What is up, FS Club? Welcome back to the channel and welcome to the Old Stream Farm Let's Play series. Yes, if you guys are watching this on the date I released this, this was actually supposed to come out this weekend. But if you guys haven't heard, I got really, really sick. Had to cancel all the live streams, the videos, everything. But we are back. Still got a little bit of a sore throat, so you guys might, might be able to actually hear it in my voice. But let's get on with this series. Okay, I haven't changed anything, but we will be changing stuff in, well, the beginning of this. So, let's go. Okay, we have the John Deere, let's see, 7810. We're going to keep that, of course. Uh, keep all that, keep that. I know we are definitely going to be getting a plow, because I do not like angle plows. Anything in here? No, that's the cow barn. Uh, we're probably going to keep this just to start off with, because I don't want to blow a lot of money. Uh, let's see, I'm probably going to keep that tractor right there. What is that, a fence? What is this one? A favorite 511C. Okay, keep that. Where? Okay, that cultivator is definitely going to be going. So let's go over to here. Cultivator. Yep, that's going to be going. Let's see what kind of plow that is. Ooh, servo 25. That is definitely going to be going. Okay, let's just keep... I don't know. Okay, something else I'm also going to be doing too. Okay, if we go right over here right over here all we have is this field and that is it this is a let's see a 0 0.99 acre field this is the, this is about one acre that is it that is the only field we get so what i am planning on doing is using that hundred twenty thousand dollars i have right now into buying this cornfield because this cornfield is Let's see, 3.21 acres, and the price per acre is about 27748 So about, what, 30 60 almost about $90,000 altogether with this corn that's growing on it. And that's fully, fully fertilized. So, and the price on it, wait till the game saves, of course. Go right over here, two. And look at that, $89,000. So we're going to go ahead and buy that. So now we own this field too. So now it, I actually just noticed that. Look, now it doesn't even tell me how much per acre is worth. So, okay. Anyways, so now we have two fields on the farm. We are definitely going to have to get a plow too. But now we are kind of $31,688. Yikes. I'm going to sell that truck because I really don't use those things that much. So, okay. So there we go right there. How much is the plow um you know what let's actually get in a tractor and go right to the store and see how much that plow is uh we'll take mm, not that one we'll probably take our john deere wherever it is just gotta find out where it is there we go okay let me actually attach this real quick there we go oops gotta start the engine up let's lift that up okay you guys seen that? Yep. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and open this door up. And then we'll head right to the store. So I'll see you guys actually when we hit the store. Okay, so here we are. i am actually been thinking on the way over here. I think we're going to trade this thing in. Because I believe the plow that we are actually looking at. I think it needs like almost 230 horsepower and that thing i believe is 175 i'm thinking hold on let me let me make sure i don't want to say something it's not yes 175 so you let's go right in here real quick um go back up to here plows 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 320 Oh wait, okay, only two two sixty. Jeez. So yeah, that's gonna have to go. Let's look at large tractors real quick just to see the price. Um we have a Mossy Ferguson for two fifty, that's three hundred horsepower. Or we got the DF, which is two ninety five, and that's four thousand dollars cheaper. How much can we get off of the John Deere? Um where's the cell area at? I think it might be right on that lift right there. So let me let me take this in there and see how much we can get for this thing real quick. It would be nice to actually have actually a large tractor too. If we got to take a little bit of a loan out, we'll take a little bit of a loan out. We'll pay it back pretty quick, I hope. 
Yeah, also, I'm using every single setting on here. I have uh, I have weeds on. I have all every everything on. So, all right, let's... Okay, I thought you could press... Okay, that... Yeah, <laughs> look at that. Okay, I need to stop doing that. Okay, right, there, the trigger's got to be here somewhere. Oh, it's right here. Okay. Okay, come on. I think this might be actually the first time I've driven this 7810 in FS22, actually. Okay, come on, get us a good price for this. Um, I wish it would, like, okay, there it is, 88,000. We're going to have to get rid of that. So there's that, there's that. Okay, so we're going to have to take probably like a $200,000 loan. So let's go right over here. I know everybody's probably like, oh my God, he's taking a loan out again. Because if you watch my uh, my uh, live stream series, I take loans out all the time. But I do pay them back, so. Okay, so there's that. We got 357000 Let's get Wiki's, one of Wiki's favorite brands, the DF. Which you guys will always hear me say DF because I cannot pronounce this tractor whatsoever. All right, we're going to just stick with the basic, the 9290 TTV, trail board wheel setup, interior color light gray, just keep everything the same. Ooh, okay, there we go. Oh, so if you actually, hold on, let me see that. So if you actually do the warrior, you actually get more options. Huh, okay. And so let's go ahead and buy that. Oh, 246. Thought that was a lot more. -ish. Okay, no, it is. Okay, 246. All right, so let's go ahead and buy that. We still have $111,000 for, like, you know, anything else we need. Probably going to need, like, a lime spreader, something to probably do the weeds, all that good stuff. And the main focus of this is going to be probably animals because, you know, the fields aren't too, too big. So, all right, so where did it? Oh, yeah, I also, did, well, that's something else I also need, too. So, good thing I did take out a bigger loan. I need that, which... We got 299, so we're just gonna stick with the six for right now. So there we go. And we still have ninety-four thousand dollars. Okay, really nice tractor actually. Ooh, some sirens somewhere. Okay, one thing I do have on in this Let's Play series is manual attach. So you're gonna see me always use a manual attach on here. Love that mod. Wish that would come to console. Okay, go ahead and attach that. Hook up the wires. Fold it up. All right, let's get back to our farm. All right, let's actually start our, well, our only filter really. Ooh, lots of rocks. Oops, missed some. Right, there we go. Okay, yeah, see, we're going to need a stone picker. We are going to need a lime spreader. And then we are going to, well, we can still use that cedar. We also got to figure out what we're going to be planting. Right now, I think the only thing we can really plant is canola. Wow, this is going to be fun. Nice little stream right there. Don't hit nothing. Okay, I'm going to go over here once. Actually, I'm going to go this way twice. That way, we don't have to worry about... Wow, look at that. Look at the reflections in there. You see that reflections? From the tree? Wow. Do we have any crops in our silo? Let me actually check. take a look at that. No, there is no crops in our silo. It would be nice if we actually had crops in our silo. By the way, this map does... It does actually have factories. So that is a big plus right there. Okay, let me get that. So we can actually turn our stuff into products. I think this is... This could be the first map, if it does come out, before any anyone else... Anything else, sorry. Uh, this will be the first map that actually has factories on it. Ooh. Got some deer running across the field. Okay, got that section off. Yeah, that should make it a lot easier. Probably got to do the same thing with that over there. Later on, we are going to have to get rid of these trees over here. That way you don't got to worry about running into them. So everybody knows my driving. All right, let's, let's just get this done.
Now we're just finishing up the last bit of it. I can tell you guys one thing, man. There is a lot of stones and a lot of deer on this field for some reason. Look at these deer. They're like everywhere. Look at that. Over there. Over here. Over there. Jeez. There's like tons and tons of deers. Something I didn't really think about, which would be nice to have, is the uh, the place that actually makes lime from stones. I don't know if I have enough money or I don't even know if I have enough room to actually put it on my farm. I think I do. Uh, let's actually go take a look real quick. Uh, we're just going to park that real quick right over here. Let's open up this gate. We don't need to have our gates closed. Yeah, this is our silo right here. All right, so if we were going to put down the line thing. Okay, sorry about that. It's awesome to get a phone call while you're in the middle of recording a video. <laughs> <laughs> Thank God I could cut that out. That's the that's the benefit of not doing live. Okay, but anyways, uh, this right here is a perfect spot for it. Uh, let me actually check to see if we actually own this land real quick. Uh, we are right here. Yes, we do own this land. So how much is that factory going to cost us? Please don't be too much. Please don't be too much. I forget. You know, I've used this thing so many times. Oh, 15,000. That's not bad. All right. Okay. So where would we like to put this? Mm -hmm. Okay. I want to save some room for other things. So let's put it against this building. So we don't got... Uh, the problem is trying to get that back uh, to get some... Uh, maybe right over here. Yeah. Kind of like it and kind of don't like it because of that tree right there. Let me actually see. Okay, we got a shed over there. We got a place to dump that. Ugh. We're going to be so... Uh, unless we do it like this. Like, have that thing sticking out. So, you just got to come right by it. Yeah, let's put this thing right... Wait, hold on. Um, that's fine. We don't need that. Okay. Let's put it down. Now. Okay, there we go. I don't like that it put that uh, that landscape down. Let me let me change that to the back to the dirt. Okay, animal mud, dirt. Okay, there we go. And there's that. And I'm putting the rest probably. Ooh, didn't mean that. Oops. Okay. Now I'm putting the rest of this grass. I'll tell you one thing though, you can really hear that wind on here. Okay, oops, um, forgot to put actually grass grass down. Plants. Let me actually move this thing over to here. Okay, there we go. Okay, let's see how it looks. Yeah, there we go. That looks actually really good. Okay, so now we have something to make lime with. The one thing we do not have now, let me actually bring up the hood again. The one thing we do not have is actually something to pick the stones out. So let's go back over to here. Let's stone pickers at $52,000. This is probably going to be our last purchase for a while. Okay, so let's go put up our plow, which I need to figure out where we're going to put it up at. Probably like over there or something. Okay, uh, how much horsepower does that thing require? Because we have a small tractor that is 115 horsepower. I thought it require a lot more than that. Oh, 120. Okay, right, let's, let's, let's stick with the other one, I guess. All right, so we'll put this back into the shed, and then we'll go to the shop. We'll get the stone picker, get all of these stones out, lime it up, and then we get to figure out what we are going to be planting in this field. Let me know down in the comment section below, guys, what you guys want to see grown for our first sown crop 
on the old stream. Let me know. Okay. Uh, where can we park this thing? I guess we could just put it right in here. This tractor is pretty much going to be our workhorse. Oh, wait. I forgot to lower that. There we go. There we go. Okay, let's go get the stone uh, stone uh, picker. Okay, so got that. Now it's time to pick up all these stones. This is a very uh, time-consuming job right here. I hope sometime in the future we actually get something that's a little bit bigger than, you know, the 6 meter. Maybe maybe 9 meter. Ooh, is that going to fit? Oh, yee. All right, so let's turn that on. I hope we get enough to actually make enough lime where we can actually uh, put all over this field. Which, that is something we need to get to. I forgot all about that. Oh, God. How much is that going to cost me? Might have to just lease that for right now. I mean, we're only going to use it, what, like after every three harvests? So, don't really need to worry about that. I still need to figure out, like I said, what we're going to be planting on this field. And we're going to need a corn header. So a lot of stuff to do. This is this is almost a rags to riches starting off with a good tractor, I guess. <laughs> okay, so like almost one pass is like almost twenty. Ooh. Hit a tree. Don't say nothing about it. Okay, there we go. Yeah, definitely gonna have to get rid of these trees over here. Probably should just hire Sam to get rid of them. I mean, he's like the expert on getting rid of trees. I mean, look at Lone Oak. I mean, that's a perfect example. Oh, okay. My game just like froze up just for a second there. Like I said, you either get to do with deal with, you know, like weeds or you get to deal with stones. It's really your choice. Like if you plow... Then, of course, you're going to have tons and tons of stones. But you don't have to worry about weeds at all. If you, like, say you do uh, disc arrow, you don't have to worry about stones at all. But you have to worry about tons and tons of weeds. To me, everybody else says that they rather, you know, do the stones and all that. To me, I think I'd rather have the weeds. Because, like, okay, this is six meters, right? We go right over to where is it at? Weeders, 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 right? You can get something like this big right here. Look at this 12 meters, or even this one 15.2. Then you got these ones 1.4. I mean, oh wait, that's not 1.4. Okay, wait a minute. I didn't mean 1.4. Uh, let's see. If we go over here, let's go to weeders. That was actually what is that? Nine meters. So, like I said, it's a lot bigger than the new and the stones. Okay, we're actually going to get done with these stones and then, of course, put them in our factory. The last strip. See, it didn't take too long. Okay. Oh, actually, I need to move my time thing back up. There we go. Okay, right. we actually only got 56%, 1,140 liters. I don't know how much lime that's going to make. I'm hoping it's going to be enough lime to actually get done with that field. I don't know if it's actually going to be enough. Wow. I actually was hoping for a lot more. We might actually have to take out more of a loan to get another field. Because you kind of start off really, really small on this map. Okay, let's go ahead and start turning these into lime. There we go. All right, so that's going right there. Yeah, see, let's see the, some of the factories you have on here. Uh, let, let's uh, save, of course. So some of the factories. Uh, why am I going to that? I need to go to the map. Like, we've, we have a lot of stuff we could be doing on here. We got bakery. We have, uh, what do we got? Dairy over there. We have sugar mill. We have the Biogas, we have the sawmill, we have carpentry, we have grain mill. So we can, you know, turn our wheat and stuff into uh, flour and then take it on to the bakery, make some bread. We can even make some cakes. So all that good stuff right there. How, okay, I got to turn that thing on. All right, there we go. Let's see. There it goes right there. 
Yeah, I don't think we're okay. So every 1,000, we're going to get 4,000. So we got 1,000. So we're going to get about 8,000 liters of... Um, might be enough. Uh, how much does a fertilizer spreader hold? Uh, 9 to 4, 14,000. I mean, it is a pretty small field. So, I mean, it might be enough right there. Okay, so that is going to be the end of this episode, guys. In the next episode, we should finally start being able to actually harvest our new field, which has corn. And we also got to figure out what we're going to be planting on this field down here. Hopefully, you guys did enjoy the episode. Remember, if you guys didn't, make sure you guys do pound that like button. Also, don't forget to share this video everywhere. Like always, have a nice day, farmers. Peace.